Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the price action of ADA and whether or not we are likely to see more of a pullback or if we are going to see a good support being held and another push to an all-time high. Guys, as we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, then do go ahead and hit the like button. Really do appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and you will not miss another Cardano update. Right, with all that nonsense out of the way, let's jump into the charts and start talking about what is going on here with ADA. As you can see, this is Cardano. Cardano paired with the USDT. This is the weekly chart and Binance is our data source. So if you're using TradingView, you'll also be able to replicate this. Now with this weekly view, we obviously do have those five impulse waves to the upside. We can obviously see correction wave two, uh, two over here and four over here with the fifth wave being pushed up there past the kind of $7.20 to $10 range. Those are kind of like my price expectations for the end of the bull run. That being said, there's so many things outside of this technical data, um, such as smart contracts and and obviously the migration of so many companies from uh, you know, the Ethereum network to the Cardano network. I speak about this quite frequently, so hopefully you guys are familiar with that kind of terminology and what I'm talking about there. But if not, check out a few of the other videos uh, on the channel around Cardano and hopefully you'll get a bit of a grasp as to what I'm talking about. Now, obviously on this weekly chart, we can see that we've had a good... Um, kind of push to the upside, right? We broke the 786 and we are pushing it higher, right? We, every day we seem to be setting new all-time highs, right? Um, but we have had a pullback today and obviously Bitcoin had a pullback and therefore pretty much most of the altcoins as well. Uh, at the point of recording this video, Cardano is down just shy of 7%. Um, I think Bitcoin's around the 3% area, XRP is at 7%, VeChain's at about 6.5, et cetera, right? So they're all kind of around the same kind of level of kind of correction. Um, but this is something we've been talking about for a while. We need to see a nice healthy correction to allow us to basically technically continue the growth to the upside. Nothing moves in straight lines. You don't just see candles, candles, candles in the green upward direction uh, week on week, right? This is a, a long period of time now that we've been seeing green weekly candles. So we are expecting to have a pullback. Now is the question is, is it now, is now the pullback or is it going to come at a later stage? Uh, as you can see during this third wave correction, uh, third wave push to the upside, you can see that there were moments with Cardano here where you traded sideways before going back up again. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to take out the momentum of our stochastic as we approach the overbought area and pull that momentum down. But in that, we want to obviously have low volumes in terms of transactions, not so many people selling, but just holding and finding good areas of support and some good bounds, right? So right here, we can see there's a higher bound and a lower bound area. And basically you're trading sideways inside this until you get that breakout moment. That's what we'll look to find. We're looking to find that sideways trading activity before taking that next step. Now, obviously timing is the hardest thing to gauge and looking at the weekly chart, we still have plenty of more room to grow to the upside first. So right now we can push higher with Cardano, probably take out the first um, price target on the 1.618 area. Okay. And we'll get into that in a moment. And obviously by taking out that first price target, that's where my anticipation would be in terms of seeing a correction in terms of our stochastic relative strength index and to see some sideways trading going on. Okay. So obviously on the weekly chart, we've got good targets. We've got a good uh, amount of momentum on our stochastic relative strength index. We can take a look at the volumes here. You can see that there was growth in the volumes now. Obviously, sentiment-wise, it's doing pretty good. Uh, and we're looking to increase this volume as well. So if we continue the growth here on the weekly candles, that'd be fantastic. And again, we can see the volumes are much lower than they have been previously, right, during this third wave. So once we start getting FOMO uh, really kicking in, which we haven't seen yet, um, we should start to see some significant growth in that volume, which will really push Cardano to the upside. Now, um, the other thing that's really important that we talk about before we jump down into the daily chart is to take a look at the Evai dashboard. Now, Evai, they have partnered with the channel and we live the Evai dashboard because it is based on artificial intelligence and machine learning and basically can remove all the human bias and basically give you the data as it is. It's not going to lie to you. It's basically true or false. It is exactly as the data intends it. Um, so as a result of this, we were able to basically take those algorithms from the AI. It gets presented in graphs and we can see exactly what is going on when it comes to Cardano. Now, we take a look at the fear and greed index for Cardano's ADA, and it's right up there at the highest level it can be, A1, right? So an A1 rating for fear and greed index. So it's extremely greedy, right? And this is the point that um, many people kind of overlook a little bit, right? When we get into a, a, an extreme greed scenario, this is when you want to be taking profits, right? Um, so again, this is in line with the expectations of needing a pullback. We've gr grown all the way up to an extremely greedy area for Cardano. So we are looking to see some profits getting taken at some point in the very near future. Um, I do not think this is now. I think we're going to see a pullback. It just isn't really at this point in time that we're going to see it. 
Um, but in doing so, we'll basically start to see that fear and greed index slip down those ratings as well. Now, in terms of moving averages doing really well at an A2 rating, so that's not bad. The sharp ratio is where things get interesting. We can see that we were tracking below the 50 day average for Cardano's ADA. And we can see that we've actually dropped down to a B2 rating. And we can see that we've actually, over the last few days, actually started to have a bit of a correction heading towards and looking for a bounce on our 50 moving average. This is basically pulling down the overall rating for Cardano. So other than the sharp ratio, which is obviously risk to holding uh, or risk to your rewards, risk to holding ADA, um, you know, that's the only issue here in terms of this artificial intelligence driven data. Uh, we can see that the, uh, there's an A2 rating for your liquidity. We can see the peak end um, value up here at B2 again, uh, in line with where it's been previously. We can see the return on investment being up at an A1 rating. Overall, we have dropped down one rating here from an A2 to an A3 um, for Cardano. And obviously we can see why at midnight um, yesterday, this kind of updated, right? Because we can see that we had that pullback that we were talking about on our charts. So again, the artificial intelligence was a little bit ahead of the curve. If anyone was watching or paying attention to what Evi's dashboard is telling us, um, you could have had a bit of an early warning as to a potential pullback today. Now, when we jump down into to our daily ratings uh, or daily charts here you can see the red candles that we've had today right so we can see we've had the pullback just here and again this is something that we've been expecting but again this is correcting our daily but not our weekly at this point in time so we are still looking to push this back up and we'll have a look at the hourly in a moment as to why we think this we can obviously say that the first price target is three dollars 37 this is where i think the major kind of pullback will start to happen and when i say major i don't think it's going to be a huge pullback i think we'll just trade sideways around this area before taking to the next level okay so this is the block that i think we're going to come across and this will probably happen, you know, within the next few weeks or so, once we kind of get to a nice overbought area on that weekly chart. Now, timing is the hardest thing to gauge, so take that with a pinch of salt. Now, obviously, the 786 was the key area. The main catalyst for us was basically getting a break from this area here. We can see that we really found that area of consolidation around the previous all-time high, and then we broke recently here. Now, the good correction that we've seen that we're no longer overbought on this daily. Um, so again, this gives us nice room to grow. When we take a look at the volume, we can see here that the, basically the red volume today is lower than the buying volume of yesterday. That's a good sentiment. And again, this is backed up by the Avai dashboard and everything that you're seeing here from an extremely greedy scenario. Um, so again, everything is lining up quite nicely for Cardano on that um, kind of perspective. Now, when we actually drop this down into our hourly, this is where we can start to see some interesting things. So right away, we can see, right? So let me just get this out of the way so we can see a little bit more of the detail. Let me just remove the volumes for a moment. Um, so basically what we saw here, was a good break from these areas, right? This is an area that we found resistance. We found uh, a resistance, even though we broke through it. And then we had the break to the upside, right? We found the new all time highs all being set over here, peaking out and then coming back down. And obviously what we've done here is actually find a good solid support on $2.58. This is a good support line. And we are heading now out of the oversold area. What we were looking at from a momentum point of view was basically this complete loss of momentum on our um, stochastic relative strength index okay so we can see this loss of momentum here um, and again we've been tracking this we've been pushing up we get these little bits here but they're basically setting lower highs right and we can see that de decreasing there and then we obviously saw the break once we lost the support level and um, we had a little bit of a test around here but again lost it and um, so again you're looking now to find that support the support was found at two dollars and 58 so basically we dropped down all the way from 285 which was the previous support level we'll find the second support which was at 258 um, and again we can actually check and see there was a couple of areas that were interesting right so we have actually if i just get my horizontal ray just here and uh, we can see that we didn't actually get a closed candle below this area right so we had the wicks coming down and um, but we didn't actually close the body of the candles here so this actually puts this in quite an interesting zone um so let me just grab hold of my uh rectangular box here and i'm just going to load that up for you guys so um this here becomes a quite an interesting area to see if we ever do get a closed candle if we do not then this could be an interesting zone to be accumulating if we're just wicking into it right because this would be a good buying opportunity if we're oversold and all that kind of good stuff because anyone buying here is basically printing money at this point we would have gained uh, a few percentage points just by buying at the right point in time right so two dollars um, 58 up to where we are right now is about 5%. So again, pretty lucrative return on investment if it's a short-term trade that you tend to lean on or anything like that. So again, this was a nice buy-in zone. And again, that's kind of backed up by knowing that we wouldn't actually get any of those um, bodies closing in that area, just wicks. So that's an interesting one. I'll leave that there for now to see if that continues and continues to track that way. Um, so again, what we're looking for here now is to come back up to this previous um, now resistance line, right? So the previous support 
um, but now resistance. This is the line that we're looking to break. Now, what we'd look for here is good uh, that amount of volume coming in, right? So we can see there was huge selling pressure during this particular wave. Once we lost that support line uh, right here, we can see that basically we're going to be tracking down. Now, what we look for is growth in volume. We've done pretty well in the last hour, but if we can continue to grow the volume, we should start to see a good correction here. If we have a decrease in volume and loss of momentum whilst we push the price up, then we could come back down to this and test this area once again at $2.58. Okay, so we'll have to be careful um, because potentially from here, we could bounce all the way down. Okay, and I don't want to scare people, but it's obviously possible that we can see scenarios like that. Um, so I don't think it's necessarily possible or necessarily something that we are going to see, but we, it's mindful that we, you know, we are looking to see growth in that volume. Um, and again, this would be supported by our weekly candles. Okay, so our weekly candle is going up into overbought, but it's not incredibly overbought. It's not really indicating that a need for a correction. We can see that the daily is not overbought and it has plenty of room to grow to the upside. That being said though, we can of course continue to decrease our daily in line with our hourly. So um, again, I think guys, it's important that we do monitor what goes on with our support and resistance lines in line with our stochastic and the volume. And of course, making sure that we're aware of what the artificial intelligence is telling us. All of these things coupled together, if we do come back down to this area and we lose $2.58, then a short opportunity could be found here to look at the $2.46 area. Okay, and again, I think these are going to be some interesting lines that get found over time. The other thing to bear in mind is there's the potential for a head and shoulder pattern forming here. Okay, if we do have that bounce back to the upside here, pull back down, and if we do break that neckline, we could start to see a decrease, right? So um, I would be mindful over what is uh, left shoulder, head, potential right shoulder forming. Uh, and if we do break a neckline, then we would be looking to pull back significantly. That being said, these are all short-term kind of expectations with ADA, and I do think there's more upside than downside on the horizon. We take a look at that daily view again, guys. It's important that we acknowledge that I do think that we are more than likely going to find the major pullback kind of occurring. I'll say major, but uh, you know, a significant pullback occurring at the 1.618 rather than right now. I think this is a short-term blip like we saw over here before we continue that growth to the upside. I think this is just a natural kind of correction that needs to happen every now and again to see some profits getting taken and getting locked in. This is the area that I'd be most concerned with if we start to see things lining up on the weekly chart and a good correction from there. Or a, side, a sideways trade that could see us through before we talk about going to that 2.618. And again, it's important that we don't get too focused in on what happens on our dailies or even our hourly charts. Really the bigger picture which is the, the basically the weekly or the monthly, shows us where we are heading. We are heading, of course, to these fantastic highs of at least $7.20 in my opinion, but we could, of course, push much higher towards $10, $15, or even $20, depending on some of the other businesses out there who might want to move their applications over to the Cardano ecosystem. Um, so guys, that is my brief update for Cardano's ADA. If you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will not miss another update. Guys, with that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next one.